Hi everyone, I am Dr. Raghu. I am a cornea and refractive surgeon. Today we are going to discuss about refractive surgery and mainly about LASIK. So there are various types of refractive surgery to correct the dependency of your glasses or contact lens. LASIK is one, PRK, femtolasic, smile, contoura are the different varieties of refractive surgeries. What is LASIK? LASIK is laser assisted in situ keratomelias where we reshape the cornea using eczema laser after creating a flap. The flap can be created by either by microkeratom or by femtosecond laser. Let us discuss about different types of refractive errors. When the image gets formed in front of retina, it is called nearsightedness or myopia. When the same image gets focused beyond the retina, it is called hyperopia, where they need plus power. Astigmatism is when there is a change in the corneal curvature between horizontal and the vertical cornea, the image doesn't get focused in any of the point. That is called astigmatism. All three types of refractive errors can be corrected by LASIK. Presently, there is something called press beyond where we can correct even the nearsightedness which comes after 40 years, that is press biopia, where patients need glasses for reading. That can also be corrected by doing something called press beyond. Let us see what are the steps of LASIK and how it is performed. LASIK surgery is performed under topical anesthesia without any injection, no bleeding, no pain and there will be no patch. First is the patient has to relax and then initial pre-op will be done, pre-op workup will be done where the required refractive error is measured and it is fed into the machine. Patient has to lay down uh, comfortably. We put a small clip on the eye and ask the patient to fixate to the light. We create a flap either using microkeratome or using femtosecond laser. During the flap creation, you may feel very little minimal pressure in your eyes. Once the flap is created, you need to fixate your vision to the light which is an aiming light. Once we do the ablation, we give a wash and then the flap is reposited and then the procedure is done. We repeat the same procedure in the both the eyes and the total time consumed for this procedure is around 15 minutes. What are the preoperative requirement as a patient when they are willing to go for LASIK? First is they need to get a thorough eye examination which includes refraction, their intraocular pressures, their fundoscopy or peripheral retinal examination. We need to check for dryness using Schirmer's test or T-Bud test. We need to check their lid and adnexa and we need to analyze whether they are able to go for surgery psychologically and then plan your surgery one or two days later. On the day of surgery, they need to take head bath, not to use any too much of perfume, clean the lid margins and then relax, not to use overnight phone or TV, come on the day of surgery with a relaxed mode. Once the surgery is done, on that day, patient has to take rest, sleep well, use the medication as advised by the doctors and not to touch the eye or not to rub the eye. Avoid computer work or laptop or your TV or even your mobile for next two to three days. If you have any dryness, you can use lubricating even more than advised. Take proper medications, take proper rest and if required, you can ask for the doctor to give a request for extension in your leaves. Post LASIK, what are the problems that you can face? Number one, you may have dryness. That dryness can be managed by lubricating gel or a drops. Usually the dryness lasts for one or two months. Max to max is six weeks, what we advise. But up to two months, you can use lubricating drops and the dryness can be tackled well. If there is variation in the refractive error in the initial days, because of dryness, you don't have to be panicked. Meet your doctor, they will see what is really required and they can treat you.
if the patient is fit for LASIK, the chances of any complication is very less. But if the patient is not fit, suppose the thickness is not good or the cornea is too steep, then we need to plan our refractive surgery based on the patient need. We can't do LASIK for all the patients. So some patients may be fit for LASIK, some patients may be fit for PRK, some patients are fit for SMILE. Who are the pa eligible patients for LASIK surgery? Age more than 18 years, non-diabetic, no history of eye surgeries, good corneal thickness which is more than 530 or 540 microns, stable refraction and a power of more than 1.5, minus 1.5 or more than plus 1.5 with or without astigmatism till minus 6 to minus 8 is what we can do refractive procedures. Apart from that, smile we can do for power up to minus 8 even if the corneal thickness is little lesser than what is indicated for LASIK surgery. PRK even though is a very old technique but it is proven to be very effective for patients with astigmatism and myopia when the corneal thickness is less so that the risk of ectasia is very less with PRK. We understand that your eyes are precious so we request you to make sure you get the right treatment done which is definitely possible through Medfin. Also if you are eager to know more you can go through the description given below and find the links of the company page and more videos on LASIK. Thank you and see you in the next video. To know more, talk to a Medfin expert today.